Hi, morning, welcome to Kings at Home Daily. My name is Steve, I'm one of the leaders based at City West. Uh, if uh, you're part of the King's family from maybe City West or City Centre or more across, then uh, morning, welcome. Uh, if you're looking from outside, you're welcome as well too. We're a church based in Norwich, uh, meeting across three locations, although a bit of a mix of in-person and uh, online during this time. Uh, but uh, you've tuned into one of the dailies where we are working our way through, uh, at the moment, the book of John. We've just started that uh, uh, end of last week. And uh, this morning we are in John chapter 1 and verse 29. So why don't you, if you have a Bible, uh, grab it and uh, head in the, yeah, head, in, head to chapter 1 of John. And I'm going to read from verse 29. The next day... John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but the reason I came baptising with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. Then John gave his testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. And I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptise with water told me, The man on whom you see the Spirit come and remain is the one who will baptise with the Holy Spirit. I have seen and testify that this is God's chosen one. And uh, I want to just spend our, a few minutes of our time this morning just in that first verse, verse 29. Uh, look. It's not a great translation. It's really like a, a behold would be a better way. Kind of a, not just a, oh, look, there he is. It's not, it's not that kind of look. It's like a behold, look, grasp who this is. Uh, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. It's uh, almost a, a one verse summary of the, the Christian mes message, isn't it? The Lamb of God. That would have uh, provoked images back, sinking back uh, into the Old Testament for Jews, you know, of like uh, Abraham and Isaac and, and then maybe the Passover lamb, you know, atoning for the sins of the, the people. And here it's, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This, folks, is like there's the bedrock of the Christian gospel. Jesus, the, the Lamb who pays the price, who takes away the sins of the world, the sins of you and me. And, and we should never stray far from, from this verse. We have to remind ourselves that uh, because of what Jesus did on the cross for us, we're made holy and perfect and righteous before God. That that's a, a free gift of grace. His, we're given his righteousness, not because of anything that we've done, but because of what he has done on our behalf. And, and folks, remind yourself of this. It's easy to sway into perhaps not feeling good enough or not feeling adequate or not feeling as though you've earned it, as if you could earn it. And uh, and yet, it, we need to remind ourselves it's because of what Jesus did at the cross on your behalf, on my behalf, paying the price of everything that we've done, every, every wrong thought, every evil deed and act, paying the price for that so that we could be made right with God. He paid the price for you to take away your sin and your shame, everything that you've done wrong. He paid the price for it. And so as uh, this is how when Paul writes, you know, I, I boast of nothing but in Christ alone, because it's we've really nothing much to redeem, redeeming about ourselves. But because of his redeeming love, because of Jesus dying on the cross, taking away our sins and paying the price, as Paul says, we get to boast in what Jesus has done. So today, don't get caught in your own performance of how bad or perhaps how well you've done or been doing, but uh, remind yourself of Jesus' performance, of what Jesus did at the cross for you and me, dying on the cross. That's where uh, that enables us to have a relationship with God, the free gift of grace. It's freely given, his free gift of grace. You're made right with God because of what Jesus did. Today, he sees you as, uh, as the way he sees Jesus, blameless and perfect. That's amazing, isn't it? Today, we start the day like that, not because... Uh, of anything that we've done but because of what Jesus has done we get to to be viewed as Jesus was viewed we get to be in relationship with the father as Jesus was in relationship with the father because of what Jesus did on the cross on our behalf bless you church I hope that's encouraged you what wonderful truth to take into uh, the day and uh, we'll uh, continue on in John uh, again soon bye now